Farmers continue their protest on a major highway connecting India's most populous state, Uttar Pradesh, to the capital region of Delhi. They've stopped all traffic on this and two other key roads for nearly seven weeks and say they won't stop, despite the Supreme Court suspending the implementation of three farm laws they've been protesting against. They're also not hopeful about the committee the top court has formed to look into the laws. The members of the committee are pro-government people who have supported the three farm laws and other government recommendations. Their ideology is anti-farmer and they are in favour of market reforms that are part of the farm bills. The protests began after the government passed three agriculture laws in September which encourage India's farmers to sell directly to large corporations. They intensified in November when farmers from the states of Punjab, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh marched hundreds of kilometres to Delhi and occupied highways. Yogendra Singh has been at the Ghazipur protest site for six weeks. Our demands have to be fulfilled by the government and then if all the farmers leave, I will too. But if other farmers stay, I will stay. We told our family members back home not to wait for us since no one knows when we will return. We left our family behind for this. Farmers say they're afraid that once the laws are implemented, they'll lose minimum prices for their produce, which have been guaranteed by the government for decades. Dozens of farmers have died camping out in the cold over the past six weeks, including one here in Ghazipur yesterday. The Supreme Court took note of the deaths, the number of elderly people, women and children at the demonstrations, and said it's extremely disappointed with the government's handling of the protests. The government maintains that the laws are in the interest of farmers by giving them access to new and bigger markets, but with farmers suspicious not just of the government, but also the makeup of the Supreme Court's committee. India's biggest protest since Prime Minister Narendra Modi was first elected six years ago are set to continue. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, Ghazipur.